Hi everyone, I'm Carice and I'm here with the lovely Katrina at the Longina Phillips studio. Today we'll be sharing the first step that all of our designers do to their keyline illustrations once they've scanned them in. So Kat, what do you do? Well the first step for all our keyline illustrations um, is we adjust the levels. So levels are how dark and how light and how much contrast is in your image. And this is particularly important for black and white illustrations um, mm -hmm. when you want a really true black and a true white and not much grey in between. So today um, we'll be demonstrating on this beautiful flower. Um, you can see this is the raw scan, we've like cut it out. You may or may not be able to see but there's an off-white and the black is quite greyed off. So what we're trying to do is get a very clean, crisp uh, line work here. So um, levels is under image adjustment levels or command L and this little window will pop up and you adjust these sliders to get like a very true black and a true white in your illustration. You might be able to see just getting cleaner and you may or may not have to adjust in the middle. You want to be careful when you're doing it and really look closely that you're not making your line work pixelated or jagged at all. Levels is also really good if you still have really faint pencil marks that maybe you haven't erased properly, you can use the levels to whiten those guys off and essentially erase them. Yeah, which is really helpful, especially if you're a little bit lazy with your rubbing <laughs> out, which sometimes we are. Sometimes. Um, <laughs> so that's basically the tool. Um, this is particularly important um, for getting really clean artwork and um, at the moment for example we're working on swimwear which because you're working with really small um, pieces of fabric for swimwear you want to make sure in particular that your line work and your whole artwork is really clean and everything's really crisp um, so you don't want any messy bits whatsoever so you can see here like all the line work is really crisp and like a true black, you don't want any grayed off. And it just makes sure that your artwork is of optimal like clarity and mm -hmm. yeah, neatness, so. <laughs> and when you do this at the start, you just save so much time. Again, I feel like we say this all the time. Yeah. But you save so much time down the track. If you don't have those perfect lines, you start coloring up your illustrations and you get really kind of muddy colors and not true blacks. And if you have to go back and change that later, um, it's a lot of work. <laughs> Definitely. And if you want to change colours like later too, like for colourways or something, if, if your artwork's really clean, it makes all the difference. So you'll save yourself mm -hmm. a lot of time. Definitely. So yeah, this is a, a very important tip. <laughs> and um, yeah, we go into this and like more in the Photoshop um, course, but this is the numero uno yep, the step. Yeah, the first step, very first step, <laughs> yeah. always. So, um, yeah, we hope that helps you guys yep. getting the most out of your illustrations. Yep. Thanks for watching everyone. If you liked this video, please comment below and let us know if there are any other tips or tricks that you'd be interested in hearing about. Please like our video and if you do, subscribe so that you can watch them all. And if you liked this tip, our Photoshop for textile design courses go through the entire process from the first to last step. Thanks for watching. Thanks. Bye. Bye guys. Bye.